be so excited. That's a sneak preview of Sarah Eisen's new documentary, Inside Track, the business of Formula One. Now, this comes on Thursday night at 8 p.m. Formula One is among the fastest growing sports out there. The younger people say it's the fastest. And it's got something big coming up with this weekend's inaugural Las Vegas Grand Prix. So let's take a closer look with Squawk on the Street co anchor and the host of this amazing documentary, Sarah Eisen. Sarah, welcome to Mad Money. Thank you, Jim. I'm so happy to be here. Well, how scared were you? I was, you could tell I had to close my eyes. What you couldn't see is that I also threw my legs up on the dashboard because I was trying to ground myself. We went, we went 180, and you've been in fast cars. Yep. Like, my stomach dropped. But, I mean, it was a blast. It was fun. I had a rush all day long. And I think what it showed is just F1 does hospitality like nobody else. That they can give these VIPs experiences like that is pretty special. Okay, so when we see you, uh, you will be out in Las Vegas, right? And you'll be doing. Now, can you give us a sense about how big this is? Because Vegas is used to a lot of big things, but apparently this is bigger than anything they've ever had. It's bigger than ever, anything they've ever had. And just to give you. A sense of that. Vegas is also going to host the Super Bowl right. this season, and expectations are that F1 is going to bring in double the revenues that the Super Bowl is going to bring to the Vegas economy—1.3 billion dollars. It's big. They're expecting more than 100,000 people. Liberty Media, the parent company of Formula One, is investing more than half a billion dollars in this, and that's what they're going for—the spectacle. They are trying to cement. F1's place in America. It's been a big growth story for the sport. They added a race in Miami on top of Austin, right. Texas, and now Vegas. It doesn't get bigger than that. Well, I'm hearing that if you can get a room, say, at the Wynn, which my travel trust owns, that apparently it's like un these were reserved a year ago for this race. It's, I, don't, I don't know that they actually ever opened it up to the public. In terms it was of sold out from the day they thought the of it? In an encore, because there are, just, there are so many corporate partners right. that are involved in Formula One and blocking hundreds of room rates. For this, I think you have to pay a million dollars, Jim. They had this million oh dollar package that they offered for six people that includes all sorts of experiences around the race, but also a well, slot. This must win. be something great for, uh, for Liberty Media, which I know yes. got a pretty good return on their investment here. So Liberty Media bought F1 about six years ago. They paid $8 billion, which everyone, and Greg Maffei, the CEO of Liberty, told me in this piece, everyone thought it was a rich price then. But now enterprise value is multiples of that. He says it's not for sale. It's one of the things we look at in the documentary, Jim, is, is how they managed to transform what was a kind of sleepy motorsport that was popular in Europe and South America into a more mainstream, fast-growing sport in America. And it was all really Liberty rethinking the entire business. Don't miss a second of Mad Money. Follow at Jim Kramer on Twitter. Have a question? Tweet Kramer. Hashtag Mad Tweets. Send Jim an email to madmoney at CNBC.com or give us a call at 1 800 743 CNBC. Miss something? Head to madmoney.cnbc.com.